Three human rights organizations are using the BRICS summit as an opportunity to express their anger at Russia. Now, Amnesty International SA, the Helen Sussman Foundation and the Ukraine Association of South Africa will demonstrate outside the summit venue and they're calling for an end to the war in Ukraine. Our senior reporter Avu Mtila is keeping an eye on the, the events outside of the Sandton Convention Center. Avu, what's the latest you can tell us there? Well, that peaceful protest is no longer happening uh, at the doors of the convention center itself where the BRICS summit is happening, but it's happening at least three kilometers away at the Inner Free Park. That's just as you drive in, uh, in, in Santon. Of course, we do understand that they've been told to just move away there. We'll get the details, but of course, uh, it is around the Russia-Ukrainian conflict and uh, them wanting to put an end to it. It's the Helen Sussman Foundation. It's Amnesty International South Africa as well as the Ukraine um, Association of South Africa. Just to get more though, let's get to the Amnesty International South Africa. Thank you for joining us at ENCA, but maybe let's get to the gist of the protest itself here. Okay, uh, morning everyone and morning to the viewers. Uh, we are here as Amnesty International, uh, South Africa, the Helen Sussman Foundation and the Ukrainian Association of South Africa because we are calling on Russia to end its invasion of Ukraine because one, it's against the, the UN Charter and also for Russia to stop the war crimes that his forces have been committing in, in Ukraine. And another issue is the fact that we have human rights activists who are currently facing reprisals in Russia for protesting against the conflict in Ukraine. Okay, uh, and I'm sure you want your message to go to those 50 plus heads of state at the BRICS summit, but you seem to be some distance off. That's a very questionable thing that uh, we've been moved to about 3.7 kilometers away from the, from where the summit is supposed to be taking place. That on its own is an indication of, the, of an attempt to curtail freedom of expression. And we are concerned about that because we would have preferred to be sorry, to, we would have preferred to be just there next to uh, uh, where the, the conference is supposed to take place, where the summit is supposed to take place. So it's very questionable that we are here. Okay, and it seems like you're very heavily guarded with dozens of police around you. Yep, there's heavy, there's heavy uh, police presence here, yeah, so uh, that's, that's another thing. We understand, yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's for safety reasons and stuff, but uh, what we firmly believe is that we should have been closer to where the summit is supposed to be taking place instead of being this far. And the other thing that we would want to call out, we would want to call for as Amnesty International is that because most of these BRICS countries, including Brazil, India, China, and even in South Africa, you'll find that uh, human rights defenders are being targeted, whether it's intimidation killings or even in terms of harassment or arrest so that is a, that's a problem and even journalists can't even do their job properly in some of these countries like china and india or even brazil so that's why we want these leaders to put human rights at the center of uh, of whatever thing that they are doing there and they counterpart south africa has a, a non-aligned stance as we heard from president silver maposa just two days ago saying that he doesn't want to be drawn into the global politics and the powers of those global politics just maybe your stance as amnesty international south africa well we've been very clear you know, when it comes to our stance that um south africa is supposed to be calling out russia for its invasion of ukraine and it's supposed to be protecting promoting and respecting human rights and don't forget that south africa is currently sitting at the, U uh, at the UN Human Rights Council, which puts more responsibility on the country to protect and promote human rights. And the fact that they are not uh, calling out Russia on this particular matter, it is problematic because every, even during the time of apartheid, South Africa received solidarity from various countries in terms of calling out uh, the apartheid regime. So even South Africa, even this time around, it should be calling out Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. All right, thank you very much. This is Wakasa from Amnesty International South Africa. A number of placards, of course, that have been giving out here. I'm not sure if you can see the one that says, Go home, Lavrov. That's, of course, the foreign affairs minister of Russia, together with a number of other placards, just uh, sharing their frustrations at the current conflict between Russia and uh, Ukraine. Uh, not only the only protest here, earlier on we saw an Ethiopian delegation also told to come and protest here. They were also supposed to be protesting at the doors of the BRICS summit itself, but it seems like this is the venue of where the protests uh, will be happening on the sidelines of BRICS. Mm. If we were, uh, you mentioned this, uh, so it's basically two protests happening there at the same venue. 
Yes, indeed. There was an Ethiopian delegation which seems to have just uh, left now. But those cars that were there uh, were part of some of the Ethiopians that were here. They are calling for uh, their prime minister. We understand that he'll be part of the 50 heads of states that are to be part of this BRIC summit. And they're saying that there are a lot of atrocities that they've been met with as Ethiopians. So they're saying that they want this summit to also address some of those atrocities that they face as Ethiopians at the hands uh, of their own uh, prime minister back in Ethiopia. So a lot of issues that have been brought by different countries here, uh, of course, but this one is uh, targeted at Russia and the Ukrainian conflict and a number of placards just, just su suggesting just a disdain of what's going on that's been going on for at least now 18 months uh, in Ukraine. Mm. Thank you so much. Um, that, of course, being our reporter, Avi Wim Tila, um, they're just a few kilometers uh, from the Santon CBD, of course, the convention center. That's where these protests were supposed to be taking place. But like you said, they have been moved by police to uh, that venue. And there's also a heavy police presence there, um, just you know, keeping an eye over that peaceful protest. We know it's three human rights organizations, um, and they are saying they're using this as an opportunity to express anger over Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the war in Ukraine. It's the Helen Sussman Foundation. Amnesty International South Africa and the Ukraine Association of South Africa but there's also another protest happening there at the same place at the same place but of course as viewers said some of those uh, protesters have left already um, it is um, 30 about 30 um, Ethiopians that were protesting there and they say that they are the Amhara movement group and they're requesting the BRICS leaders to basically uh, amongst other issues but also for the BRICS leaders not to accept the Ethiopian government request to be part of BRICS amongst other issues like I said but we will be keeping you posted with any other developments there.